and welcome back to some more Inch Rounded. Right, I just got my daughter to sleep. It was adorable because she fell asleep looking right at me. Oh boy, am I a proud father right now, but... Well, there shouldn't be a but there, but that's just how you talk when English is not your first language. Now, Keen Games posted yesterday, maybe it was even two days ago, maybe even a couple of days ago, depending on how long it will take me to edit this video, that there's now a new building contest. Now, the last one was with a, like, money prize pool, and from what I understand, it was a little bit of a disaster, I think. I have no idea. I wasn't involved, and I didn't really watch any of it. I mean, I have watched uh, the people who participated, and I've seen the builds. Those were amazing. But this time, there's a themed build behind it. Halloween. Now, the event started the 17th of September, no, that's two days ago, and it lasts until 18th October. Hmm, so here's the dealio. I mean, you can clearly see that I'm not much of a builder, but I am thinking that I want to do something, and I kind of want to do it molding style, the same way that I made Glenn over here. Now, my first initial thought was to build like the Headless Horseman, and basically have that chain surrounded by a pumpkin head. Now that is something that I could do, but I am not sure, I'm not too sure of my building capability. So I'm thinking maybe just a jack-o'-lantern? I should be able to do that. I'm thinking orange, and the most orange block we have is, uh, well it is sandstone. And if I want to make it very round E, I mean, I think it could definitely be something. So I guess that's what we're gonna attempt. Now for the rules, I mean, it has to be within level two flame altar. So I'm most likely gonna make a new world just so that, uh, you know, the devs aren't too, uh, you know, confused of where stuff is supposed to be because, well, I could have placed it anywhere. But yeah, I'm probably gonna place it in, hmm. I mean, the most spooky place that I can think of, except for the hollow holes, I mean, there is, like necropolis right over here maybe it's a little bit spooky a lot of graveyards perhaps i mean i could also make like the entire uh dungeon from world of warcraft with headless horsemen i do have the mount i'm a little bit proud of that took me like seven years to get that mount uh, i mean now you can probably just buy it but yes uh, other than that, there's no real rules, it just has to fit the Halloween theme, like spooky, like uh, spiders and stuff like that. So we, I mean, we will see. Now the prize for this one, I mean, it's not monetarily a prize, you know, I mean, it's no money is involved, but I was intrigued by being immortalized in the enshrouded world by getting a tombstone with my name on it. Now, I will not be disappointed if I don't win. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm even capable of building a jack-o'-lantern. But yeah, okay, let's have a look at Necropolis, maybe. Maybe that could be a spot. If anything, I might give some other people an idea of where you could build stuff. I mean, I'm thinking Revelwood, mainly, because it's a little bit spooky. I mean, it's a little bit maybe too fairy tale Yeah, my wife is doing some cleaning. That is the background noise. I should help her, but uh, again, I'm going to take a little bit of time and just look around. Hang on, what do we have over here? This is, that's Willow's Crush. Um, no, probably not going to be here. Now, as an example, I mean, I could chop down these trees and just make it over here. It would have a nice background. Actually, I could actually build it right here. Now that I'm thinking of it. Huh, maybe something right over yonder. Maybe overlooking this thing. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna place down a marker right here. Let's see. Right the marker. I'm gonna make it orange. Okay, what is a jack-o'-lantern? Uh, this thing? Uh, probably... Uh, sure. Okay. Potential for a build area. Maybe. Okay, but let's have a look at Necropolis. And Necropolis is over yonder. Now, I haven't read uh, too thorough through the post, but I think it's a couple of contestants. Maybe even ten. Uh, don't quote me on that, but yeah, there's uh, gonna be a few gravestones around, tombstones, with names of the participants. Now, there was a caveat to that. I mean, the name had to be, you know, lore-friendly, so no, you know, Skizzle but 69, <laughs> but Arinin, 
Perhaps? Necropolis. Uh, I mean, it is a churchy area. I mean, at night, this would definitely be more scary. Oh, that's a lot of mobs. Let's see, just get rid of all of these. Come on, come on. You little biscuit. That to the face. And that to the face. You, what? Okay, I uh, wonder. Uh, yeah, I wonder. I mean, this uh, it could be spooky at night. Maybe. Okay, uh, arrow, arrow, and another arrow. Uh -huh, out of aim. Yeah, maybe I should look around in the dark, rather. Oh, I mean, it is spooky. Probably more spooky at night. Okay, I was also thinking about another place. Where was that? Was that over here, maybe? Okay, let's explore Rebel Wood a little bit. And I think for, like, the follow-up price, if you didn't get a tombstone, you might get a backpack. I mean, I have plenty of backpacks uh, already, but it would be fun to have an enshrouded uh, uh, diaper bag, <laughs> essentially. Okay, now I wonder, I wonder. You need to also upload the save file and at least four screenshots. I mean, that's not going to be an issue. Hmm, a spooky place. Ah, I mean, there is the abandoned hunt camp over here with a lot of cobwebs, maybe. Spooky cave. Now, I don't remember exactly where I was planning to. Ah, I should probably have, like, the shroud in the background. That, I mean, yeah, that looks a little bit spooky. Could also be right here. Just perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Yeah, I think that this looks rather spooky. Perhaps indeed. And we also have the black mire. Maybe? I mean, the black mire isn't too scary, I think. Uh, no, probably not. I mean, we do have the tar pits. That could possibly be something. Yeah, I know that there's a tar pit right over here with one of those crocodiles. I mean, now since I've increased the spawn rates, there's probably more. Okay, I can't go through here. Like the tar areas, eh? Hmm, yeah, I do wonder. Ow, okay, I'm getting uh, attacked by those fairies. What is that? Oh, that's just clay. Let's see, let's get over yonder. I mean, hmm, the tar kind of looks promising. Actually, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just, ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay, take care of these. Yeah, there we go. Oh, one more. Can I mine tar? No, I get nothing. Can I mine down here? Uh, something is happening. I mean, I can remove the tar, but I'm not getting any tar. I mean, this is also rather scenic, like a tar... Tar waterfall. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Just perhaps. Let's make another one of these. Okay. Let's upgrade this altar. Now it's level two. And let's see. Yeah, that's a rather large building area. I mean, not too much. But I do wonder. Can I actually remove stuff if I go to terrain? Okay. I can remove that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's test out some colors. Hang on. What is going on over here? Uh, something. I mean, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to place all of this. Let's see. Maybe? Sand? Okay, so this is what we have to work with. Mm, sandstone. I mean, sand looks really good too, and it's very easy to get sand. The bark doesn't really do it for me. I mean, it's very orange. I could also use bronze blocks. And I think fertilized soil would definitely be something for, like, the stem. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a real pain to build over here. <laughs> oh, that it is. Oh, don't die over here. Yeah, I think I could make something here in the middle right here. Perhaps. Again, I will make uh, another world in order to do this uh, properly. Let's see. Okay, what did we go for? Sand? Possibly. Okay, if we just make a little bit of a circle-ish. I mean, it's not the easiest thing to do this, but basically we just need mass. I mean, I wouldn't say it looks that much like a pumpkin yet, but I think you get my drift. That with a little bit of stem and something, something, just something for the eyes, maybe. Okay, well, I will work on this a little bit. Again, I have no idea if we will actually have the time. I mean, we have a month to build something. And again, I'm thinking simplicity itself. Uh, possibly. 
Again, we can also get some inspiration from what other people will post because there is uh, a lot of insanely good builders out there. So, of course, I can't compete with those, but who knows? I mean, it's skin games that uh, are choosing the winners. So we will see. I mean, right now, I don't think this will be a great pumpkin, but uh, perhaps. And even set it at night time. Some good pictures right about over here. Uh, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna think about this. But again, my wife has also posted, posted? No, she hasn't posted nothing yet, but she has booted up Seven Days to Die. And I do want to play with her, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So another short video, but here we go. I might compete in the building contest this time, even though I'm not much of a builder. I'm not trying to be humble over here, I mean, no. Uh, Ish. But anyhow, yeah, I I think this is going to be a fun experiment. I mean, I still have other series that I'm working on, so I'm not going to uh, abandon those. But yes, I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.